guys, what's up? Um, so in that last video I did a, uh, I showed you how me uh, installing Windows 10 on this tablet. And this is the whole reason why I actually put this tablet together. Um, I mean, I wanted a car computer that I could actually have a full-size GPS with. And um, I wanted to be able to actually program my radios in case I wanted to program my, uh, by using Chirp. And my Holy EFI software, yeah, I can program that and use that as a monitoring tool and program stuff because you know a lot of the programming you can't do with the handheld. So, um, but mainly for for GPS and I guess SDR Sharp too, like uh, my SDR radio. Um, so that's why I needed a Windows tablet versus an Android tablet. But very few, like I said earlier in this video, is that very few Windows tablets come with a built-in GPS. Um, I actually had bought an Explorer tablet for this truck, but it was just too big, so... Um, but let me uh, do a quick search for maps here, and then... In the other video, you can see that... I guess I'm, this is not tablet mode, but... Maps... Okay, go... So, like I said, this is one of the few tablets that actually has an integrated GPS sensor. So, I need to go... How do I do that again? Where's home? Okay, so obviously I don't care if you know where I live. That's my GPS. So the, I guess because right now I'm still on Wi-Fi, it's picking up my... I think, I mean, I have to get out of Wi-Fi range to know for sure if this GPS sensor is working or not. And I will know right now. All right, I'm going to drive this thing down the street, and I will see if uh, this thing starts moving. All right, cool, I'll come back once I get out of range. Oh, up here. All right, this is probably not the best mount, but as you can see, I'm moving down the street, and it's still moving. I'm definitely at a Wi-Fi range right now. Yeah, I'm probably have to get a better mount because this thing's gonna be shaking around a lot. I mean, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when I'm off-roading. All right, so I'm definitely at a Wi-Fi range right now. So I'm gonna go down a down block, and I'll, and I'll see. But, um, all right, take a look at that. All right, still moving. So, I'm two blocks away now. So that means, I mean, what else could that mean? I mean, the Jeep, I mean, I haven't actually looked at the GPS sensor yet, but look at that. I and mean, there's no doubt that that thing is working. So, awesome, awesome, Windows GPS. So, I also have, uh, if you've seen my other videos, I also have external ESP sensors too. But this actually one's integrated into the, into the tablet, so I don't know if you guys can still see that, but I'm a couple blocks down now. I'm on a place called Placentia, but cool. Awesome, it worked. There I am right there. Awesome. Now it's bouncing around. So I'm probably going to permanently build a, like a steel one, you know, welds them together. But yeah, I'm still, I'm like, I'm like about a mile away and this thing's still working without a problem. So. Now that I finally found a solution that actually works. You know, I've been, been trying to find a solution for a couple of years. You know, Windows-based tablet for a couple of years. Ever since I got this uh, whole EFI, you know, I wanted to build a program this thing on the fly. Something permanent, you know? But, all right, cool.